Can you get my message? Yes. What is it? I found a new lawyer. That's great. I mean, couldn't you talk me over the phone? I've kind of got a lot on my mind at the moment. Yeah, well, I wanted to see you. Thing is, you'll never guess. The first consultation is 175 quid an hour. Wow. Still, I mean, you know, you get what you pay for. How will you afford it? Well, to be honest, I was hoping you'd help me out. You know, you're not serious. Charity, I can barely afford your rent as it is. Yeah, I know. But, Marlon, what about the baby? What? Like I said yesterday, I don't even know that it is my baby. I mean, you were sleeping with Kane, Chris, and whoever else. You know what? That's it. I'm pulling the plug. You're not getting another penny out of me until I see a DNA test. All right. Well, are you sure you want to know? I mean, it's going to be bad enough keeping a one-night stand from Trisha, let alone a kid. What do you mean? I'm not going to tell her. Oh, what? No. No, you wouldn't. I am up for a murder that I didn't commit. There's a chance that I might have this baby in prison. There's not a lot I wouldn't do. Understanding. I, don't it. I don't think it's going to be that easy. No. You know what else ain't easy? Being pregnant, being broke, a murder trial closing it, and not even being able to afford a lawyer. Yeah. At least you're not being blackmailed by your own cousin. Marlon, don't see it like that. See it more as two mates helping each other out. I'll get your money. I'll get the money. Just, just please swear to me you won't tell Trish about this, please. I'll make that promise. When I've got the money. And not before. I'll get your stinking money. No matter what it takes. Fifty quid. It's all I could get. Borrowed that out of the dingle pot. I'll get you more as soon as I can. Yeah? When? I've got to replace that look first. Zach's got to kill me if he finds mind, out. Zach! It's me you need to keep sweet. Yeah. I know. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be up the duff, would Come I? On, Charity, we don't know that for sure, do we? We know that you had your wicked way with me, though, don't we? We know that. Trish will be back in a week. Just give me a couple of days! I get paid at the end of the week! It's not like the lawyer expects the money up front, is it? I need to know that I can pay him! He's not the sort of bloke who'll take kindly to being messed about. You spoken to him? Yeah. And judging by his phone manner, well, he's a right rude git. Then find somebody else! No, Marlon, that is good! Preferably cheaper! Marlon, I need a brief who won't take prisoners. And think about it. Not just my life on the line here, is it? When's Trisha due on? Next week. Are you excited? I'm beside myself. She's going to find a lot's changed. Yes, thank you, Emily. Please don't rub it in. Rub what in? Well, let's see, like... Where are me and Trisha going to live? She's going to go berserk. She loved Victoria Cottage. You haven't told her you've moved. Not exactly. Marlon. I know, I know, and it would have been fine, you know. Petri Cottage is just as nice. The whole charity thing just blew up. I think it's very brave that you're helping her. You don't know the half of it. Paddy's still annoyed that you tricked him. I'm doing what I have to do. I know. Whatever Charity's done, she's still your cousin. I'm sure Trisha will understand that. <laughs>